Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Tuesday, June 21st, 2016, around 8, 11, in the evening, Berwick, Massachusetts. Sun's going down. Tomorrow is going to be a warm day. Thursday could be the day where it's damp and cool and maybe raw. But the weather pattern switching is going to be more hot. And the humidity is going to creep back in and be chances of thunder showers every single day next week. Welcome to summer. Only eight more weeks of this until the crisp bear comes. That's it about that. Some news to report. The Houston Rockets have declined the $23 million option on Dwight Howard's contract for next year, meaning Dwight Howard's a free agent, but he's on the downside of his career. The Philadelphia 76ers are going to pick LSU star player Ben Simmons as the number one pick of the 2016 NBA draft. No surprise there. I heard Ben Simmons is on the verge of getting a $100 million shoe contract. Amazing. He's not played one minute in the NBA. He could turn out to be a big flop. And... Tampa Bay Lightning's forward, Ryan Callahan, had hip surgery. He's going to miss five months, the first two months of the NHL season. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about NBC Sports announcer Mike Tirico. Mike Tirico has been broadcasting sports for close to 30 years. He was known for being on ESPN for a quarter of a century. And he's only going to be 50 years old come the fall. Mike was born and he grew up in the Queens, New York. He is of Italian descent even though he's his he's dark skin and he has some ethnic features but Mike has publicly stated many times that he isn't African American or black and there's some questions if he was adopted at birth because he doesn't know, you know, his real parents, and there's a question about that. And Mike went to the famous Syracuse University, majoring in communications. He started his broadcasting career for the Syracuse um, University radio station WEAR. While we were still in school, his like one of his one of his highlights when he was in school was interviewing his fellow um, NBC Sports colleague Bob Costas. Bob also went to the University of Syracuse, and then after um, after that, um, Mike was the sports director of. WTVH TV, which is in Syracuse for about four years, 1987 through 1991. He co mainly covered Syracuse basketball and Syracuse football and some minor league hockey because Syracuse doesn't have any professional sports teams that are major. It's just minor league there. And then in 1991, Mike went to the worldwide leader in sports, ESPN. He was primarily a sports center anchor for the first several years of his career there. 
but eventually Mike branched out to do other stuff for the worldwide leader in sports, including hosting NFL Monday Night Countdown for a number of years. He was also the golf host for ABC and ESPN for many, many years. He covered the British Open, the US Open, and the Masters. He also hosted NBA games on NBA on ESPN on radio for a number of years, and he also kept, um, anchored World Cup action for ESPN. And Mike also did a lot of play-by-play. He did play-by-play of college football games for um, ESPN, including he did for a number of years the Bowl Championship Series on the radio. He called NBA games on ESPN and ABC for many years. He was actually the number two announcer for the NBA on ESPN and ABC. And also... Mike was the lead voice of the NBA Finals on ESPN Radio for a number of years. And Mike um, interviewed, was a sideline reporter for a couple of Super Bowls on ABC. But Mike, what is Mike known for most was being the play-by-play voice of Monday Night Football for 10 years years from 2006 through 2015. He worked with a number of partners including including Ron Johalski, Tony, Tony Kornheiser, and John Gruden. Tariko and Gruden had so much get great chemistry together. They probably were one of the best play-by-play and color man on NFL football for a few years and also Mike did some um, sport ESPN sports beat commentary for a couple of years and he briefly had his had a radio show on ESPN radio for my nine months from I think the fall of 2007 through the spring of 2008 and Mike got a lot he was probably the best play-by-play announcer for ESPN during the 2000s and the 2010s. He was so versatile. Mike never called Major League Baseball games for ESPN at all or NHL when they had them. And in the spring of 2016, Mike decided to leave ESPN to join NBC Sports. Uh, Mike is going to be hosting golf for NBC. He's going to be doing um, the British Open and the Ryder Cup and a few PGA events and he might do some stuff for the Golf Channel which is owned by NBC. He is going to be a host of the Olympics starting in Rio in 2016. And he's also going to call um, Thursday Night Football games for NBC this year. And somewhere in the near future, Mike is eventually going to succeed Al Michaels as the voice of Sunday Night Football. And he's also going to succeed Bob Costas as the Olympic host. And moving to NBC for Mike is probably a great move for him. He's probably getting a lot of money doing it and he's going to be you know not traveling as much and he probably might probably will miss doing Monday Night Football and uh, college sports but he's probably getting a big big paycheck to do uh, um, a few events for much more money and that's about it on Mike Tirico and that's about it on these video blogs for the night Tomorrow, only two video blogs. First video blog will be a special personality profile. The first one will be the first one of the day. It will be about ESPN anchor Hannah Storm. And the second and final video blog of the night will be about um, the best places for coffee in the Merrimack Valley in Massachusetts. And that's a, that's a special request from a Facebook friend. There's going to be one more special like video blog left
for the series. There's one open um, June 29th, so send your suggestions in. And I'm here to announce that the, at this, this video blog, what you could say in July, most of them will be special requests. Any subject you want to talk about, I'll send it to me. And it will be addressed. And I'm not going to tell you what stage it's going to be on. I'm going to surprise you. And that's it. Good night, everybody. And like I say, keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Bunning guy. Molly Rose Blood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot So So Stunning. She's the best. Amy Swenzi is awesome. Barbara Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. She's got nice legs. And Linda Church is such a cool cougar. And she's got nice legs as well. Good night, everybody. And in the words of Sean Lutcher, get out!